morning. Welcome to the Community Voice. I'm Steve Gradick, your host. Delighted to have you with us on this beautiful Monday morning as we start a new week in the great uh, month of December 2017. And I am truly honored, pleased, and excited to have in studio. How about that? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Christian Withington. She's Project Gift Coordinator with Southwire. My favorite company in all the world, second and only to Gratic or whatever. <laughs> hey, I like that. Yeah, thank you. It's good. Well, welcome. I gotta move this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. Uh, tell us. Uh, well, good morning. Welcome. Good now, morning. You're, thank you. Your project gift coordinator, and yep. if they don't know, uh, Santa Claus called us. Yes. Yes. And old Saint Nick said, "Man, man, 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 I got a lot going on. I need some more help this year." Mm-hmm. Of course, he was real nice about it. I said, of well, course. I'll send you a T-shirt. He said, hey, that ain't good enough. we gotta, <laughs> we got to have some toys, brother. Yep. And, uh, and then he started talking in this weird language I didn't understand. But anyway, uh, uh, so anyway, we're going to ramp it up again for Toys for Tots with Project Gift. Mm -hmm. You're a Project Gift coordinator, the OPGC. <laughs> so... I'm going to start calling myself that, the OPGC. Yeah. The OPGC, I, I <laughs> tend to uh, give out names to your I entire like it. staff. I'll take, you know, I, I like nicknames. So. Okay, cool. Um, Southwire, we won't talk about Southwire. We won't talk about copper. We won't talk about wire. We won't talk about sub-freezing temperature okay. science. Well, good. There won't about, be any help on that. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about Project Gift before we start talking about toys for tots. Okay. Pre there are people, believe it or not, in West Georgia who have never heard of Project Gift. Oh. Yeah, it's know. hard for me to believe that as well, long as true. we've been doing it's this. It's very, very true. Yeah. And so it's your job for the next uh, few moments to tell us what is Project Gift. Um, okay. Project Gift is a nonprofit. Uh, we're part of Southwire Company. Um, our focus is really on getting our employees out into the communities to be able to volunteer. So we have two legs to our nonprofit, but the, the volunteer piece is Project Gift. And really, we got started, oh gosh, um, more than 12 years ago now. Um, back in uh, the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, we had employees that just wanted to do something. They wanted to get involved. They wanted to find a way to give back. And um, so they went down and participated in an event called Christmas on the Coast, um, which is perfect time to talk about that now. Um, and they were able to help provide Christmas for those that had been affected by the storms and were still displaced from their homes. So that was really the first and commemorative event for Project Gift, and it's kind of where um, that brand and those black shirts that you might see out in our community um, really got started. Why um, the black shirts? It, it all kind of goes back to that event. Um, I, I wasn't there yet. I've only been with South Wire a little over six years. But um, uh, from what I understand, uh, our volunteers went Hairstyle. down. You know us. Um, yeah. we, we go in in full force. We're all sure, dressed the same. Sure, you know, sure, it was the sure. first time that the Project Gift logo and the black T-shirt had been unveiled. And um, throughout the Christmas on the Coast event, um, I think just because of the volume of people that we had, and we, we do have strong leaders, um, probably some that are very opinionated and know in our group because I, I love that about them. They're willing to just step in and take charge. Um, uh, they actually were um, down there helping, and other people would start saying, okay, uh, if you don't know where to go, just find where those black shirts and they'll help you. Cool. Um, and it just kind of stuck. It was one of those things like that group earned that, that name um, from being a leader. So. What, what are some of the different things y'all have done in the last 12 years? Um, disaster relief has been probably one of the most prevalent things, uh, I would say, especially for the community to recognize us. That's something that you're just always going to see, that big, beautiful tractor trailer with the Project Gift logo and our disaster relief signs. Um, obviously, it's something I wish we didn't ever have to do again, but it just seems to happen almost every single year. Um so that's when you're going to see. But we do participate in different things like Relay for Life, Special Olympics. We volunteer at the um, Carroll County Soup Kitchen regularly. So Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots. Back so, to school. Oh, um, yeah. Back yeah. to school. Tell me, uh, now, how many people work for Southwire here in West Georgia? Gosh, it's around tw uh, 2,800 is my guess well, at now, this point. It's under three, I know. But, but now y'all are an international company. We are. Mm -hmm. Now, Project Gifts kind of spread out. It started here in Carrollton, mm -hmm. and it spread to your other locations, It right? did, yeah. Um, you know, mm -hmm. obviously, Carrollton will always be home, but... Um, you know, the bigger Southwire gets, the more we have people that are already passionate about things. So being able to bring Project Gift to them has actually become pretty easy. They take it and they run with it. So we have 24 different communities that participate and um, 
really that covers all of our different groups because a lot of our facilities you know we might have two or three facilities that are in some of those same communities and they partner together to make sure that our employees have um, you know they get that networking opportunity to work with different people um, across their area sorry <laughs> that's okay sorry about that I've done yeah. that before um, okay well I tell you what we're gonna come let's take a break we'll come okay. back and let's jump into a hard into uh, toys for tots and uh, we'll be back with more with Christian Whittington and uh, Project Gift after this word from Tanner. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org. Or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. All right, good morning. Welcome back to the Community Voice. I'm Steve Graddick, your host. Delighted to have you with us on this beautiful Monday morning in West Georgia. And we're honored to have in studio Christian Whittington, Project Gift Coordinator. Woo-hoo. You can woohoo. And you can give us a call at 678-601-TALK, 678-601-8255. Or you can, uh, you know, put a comment on Facebook. We're doing Facebook Live this morning, and we'll be happy to read it. And just whatever else. Anyway, <laughs> fun facts. You know, they do that in radio. You know, oh, yeah. And we like to, uh, uh, kudos to uh, the one and only uh, Joel Brock for coming up with these. But Toys for Tots was founded in 1947. Mm-hmm. You knew that. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I knew it had been founded quite some time ago. <laughs> 1947. Uh, 313 million toys have been collected. Uh, 151 million children have uh, been receiving those toys, so I guess technically about two toys per kid. It was uh, founded by Major Bill Hendricks of the United States Marine Corps. How about that? That's good stuff. Good stuff. I like those stats. And uh, Project Gift in Southwire is uh, ramping it up again uh, for the later this week. Tell us what's in store. Yeah, um, so we are gearing up for our annual Toys for Tots collection drive. So we'll be set up this year over in the Walmart parking lot. Um, and we've that's that's new. So if you come to our drive every year, we're usually at Southwire uh, for the Christmas season. But we'll be in the Walmart parking lot and really um, chose to do that because it just seems to be more convenient for our shoppers, for our givers. Um, so we decided to just take that opportunity because it's worked so well with things like disaster relief to just set up right there. Walmart is very gracious about it. So we'll be out there Thursday and Friday of this week. That's the 7th and the 8th to uh, collect for Toys for Tots. And we're hoping to hit that 5,000 toy goal um, this year. So you guys come out and see us. We'll be there from 7 to 7. And we would love to see you. We'd love to visit with you. And we'd love to count your toys and make sure that we're able to help lots and lots of children this year. Okay. I'll buy that. How was that? That was good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, of course, you know, it's like in, in so much of this stuff, the, the we have to go into the details. Okay. Bring it on. Bring Ask it on. Me. Uh, <laughs> I'll do my best. All right. First, uh, if someone just wants to drop off a cash donation, that's doable, right? They can. Uh, we will have somebody on each of our volunteer shifts that will handle those monetary donations. Project Gift is a 501c3, so if you make a donation, it's tax deductible. 
Uh, we will take your cash gifts and we will turn them straight around into toys that will go to our collection. Any checks that are given, we're going to do those straight to Toys for Tots. And that way they'll be able to get some of the things that maybe they might not receive from those that are giving to make sure they can meet all the needs of the different children they've got. Now, from what I understand, these toys will stay in the Carroll County area? They are Carroll County. That's Carroll correct. Carroll County exclusively? Uh, yeah, that's my understanding, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Lori has only been doing Toys for Tots for a couple of years, uh, at mm-hmm. least in this area. Um, and I know previously it, had, it was a broader scope, but I mm-hmm. think just because it's such a large undertaking for somebody mm-hmm. as a side you know, a volunteer thing. I mean, that's, she's not getting paid to do this and it's an mm-hmm. incredible undertaking. So, uh, yes, it is Carroll County from my understanding. Okay. So what, what you give stays local. It does. Which is positive. Mm-hmm. I had the privilege one time of seeing uh, in Carroll County the distribution process. Uh, have you ever seen it? Um, yes, I have. I mean, it's it's really, unreal. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, I've never seen so many toys and so many bags and so many labels. It's it's amazing what and, these guys and so do. and so they bundle them up for uh, per age, mm-hmm. and then there's a you know extensive screening process. So mm-hmm. anybody who gives a toy or makes cash donation can rest assured that it's. Uh, it's going to get to the right kid. That's right. Isn't That's that right. cool? It's very cool. And it and it's 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 really amazing um, because when you when you drive up to the Southwire Project Gift trailers, I mean you don't even have to get out of the car. Or, yep. And you know I mean it's, you know, and you're gone. <laughs> And then, and then the pro, then the work really bega- begins. Yep. I mean, because yeah, you got to get it all in the trailer, and you got you kind of do a pre-sort. We try to sort the best that we can, uh, make it a little bit easier for the guys when they pull off pull everything off the truck. Um, but yeah, our volunteers do an incredible job. We actually already have over eighty signed up to help us, and it's just a two-day drive, so. I'm sure that as soon as you pull up, you're going to be unloaded quickly, and you can just go on right about your day. You know what's really cool about this is you. You know, I'm going to end up talking more than you. But anyway, <laughs> you know, but it, what's really cool about this is you're really these things. These toys are going to kids, mm-hmm. so you can push aside all that concern about well, you know, how's the system, and mm-hmm. is somebody getting more than they should? Yep. It doesn't really matter here because it's going to the kids. Yeah. And, and there's probably nothing more uh, difficult, mm. I'll use the word difficult, than to be a kid and wake up Christmas morning and there's there's oh, zilch, yeah. you know, under the tree or available. I always you. think about those kids and, and it's, it's that moment when you either go maybe back to church or back to school mm-hmm. for the first time after Christmas and right. everybody's oh, talking yeah. about or they want to show you yeah, or look got. at what I got yeah, or yeah, let yeah, me yeah. tell you what I got yeah. and that child is sitting there with little to nothing to talk about and they're having to listen to all of what these other kids have gotten when we just have such an abundance um i have been reminded of that so much lately we have so much that we we it's easy to take it for granted you know so um even one toy uh, that's what i would say if you don't take anything else from what we talk about today just one toy will make a difference in a child's life if you're a creative kid you can take that one toy you'll make it sound like a bunch of toys that's right if you don't have that one toy it's kind of hard so yeah. yeah, so I think that's important to remember as we as we give and as we ramp up to give this Thursday and Friday. Um, well, tell us about the toys. What you're looking for new unwrapped? New unwrapped toys. Um, I, I, you know, ten dollar value, fifteen dollar value, um, anything like that would be wonderful. They do stocking stuffers as well, so we can take you know smaller things as well. But I know they get a lot of those, um, so we kind of encourage about a ten dollar value at least um, if you're willing to do that. And uh, twelve and under is the age group that they work with. So um, twelve and under. 12 and under. Mm-hmm. Okay. 12 and under. Mm-hmm. Um, what about, I mean, divide that up. I mean, is, is there a greater need here, there, and yon in that 12 and eight younger category? I mean. Uh, I haven't talked to Lori this year, but I know in past years it's always been the the e- either end. So your babies, that zero to two, you don't get a lot of those. A lot of people go for that five to nine, right? That right. seems like an easy age group. <clears throat> a lot of things are labeled that way, you sure. know, five and up, that sure. sort of thing. Um, and then those older kids, the 10 to 12, right. um, they're kind of getting in those teen years. And it's hard to find affordable toys that aren't electronics and that don't require batteries. Right. Uh, and those are some of the things that they ask for because it's hard to make sure that they can provide the batteries if you do give something like that. Um, 
you don't want them to open it on Christmas morning and not be able to use it. So, so if you give something electronic, should you buy the batteries too? I think that would be an incredible idea. <laughs> the answer is yes. Okay. Make a note. Make uh, a note. Bring the batteries. Um, tell, tell us about some of the, I mean, you've been doing this for several years now. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you get, you're on the front line, so you get to see the people who come by. I do. And how does that make you feel? Because, I mean, they drive up and, you know, and, and, <laughs> and for them, that may be the only charitable thing they do all year. Yeah. Or certainly around Christmas time. So yep. that's an important thing. Um, I mean, it's it's really amazing. I, you know, we've seen it. I think, Steve, you can speak to this as much as I can. You know, this community has such a loving heart, and they have a heart for service and a heart for the others in it. Um, so they're givers, and we see that all the time with the different drives that we host. Um, for this time of year, though, I think even with um, parents, they're looking for an opportunity to show their kids what it means to help somebody else and, and what it means to actually give to someone. That Sometimes mm-hmm. that can be even more fun mm-hmm. than getting. Um, so I, I have a couple of stories. One, um, okay. probably one of my favorite moments, um, one of those moments that will break your heart. We had a family um, that came uh, a, a a mother that brought a bicycle and it had a note wrapped around the front end of the bicycle. As we read the note, it was actually for a child that had passed away Mm -hmm. and they, they already had the bicycle. And so they, it was brand new, had never been used. That Mm -hmm. child passed away. And so they brought the bike and they wanted to make sure that it went to a child that could truly use it and enjoy and have fun with it just as they had hoped that child would. So that was a heartbreaking, but incredible thing that they gave that, um, I also had a gentleman that pulled up in a rusted truck, um, didn't have much, and he, he claimed that. I don't say that. To, I, I don't know, but that's that's what he claimed. And handed a bag out the window to me and then just said, you know, God bless, and drove mm-hmm. away. And as I opened the bag, it was just full of pennies. And I thought, mm-hmm. this is literally uh, probably all he had that he could give, but the literal what he might. found everything that he yeah. could give and he brought it. And for whatever reason, that just meant so much to me. I, I just sure. thought, wow, that's it's pennies, but you have no idea. This will add up. I mean, even oh, change yeah. adds up. Oh, yeah. My dad used to pay for our vacations with the change jar that sat by his bed. Sure. So, sure. you know, um, things like that happen and, it, and it's just, it's moving that, that you're reminded that there are such incredible people out there in this world. Well, I liked it when you referenced about this is an opportunity also to teach kids to, yeah. to be charitable and to mm-hmm. give. And so, you know, get your kids involved. Okay, Absolutely. You're going to have a great Christmas, we expect, and Santa's going to be good to you. Mm-hmm. But there may be others, not so much. So let's go, you know, take a toy down to Toys for Tots and let the kid give the toy. Oh, yeah. So. And they like to come and, and, like, peek in the truck and see how oh, much they we've really? gotten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's really cute. <laughs> uh, you can charge for that. Yeah, yeah well, you know. Yeah, that'll be a dollar, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your donation. Yeah, okay, that'll be your donation. <laughs> All right, well, our guest this morning is Christian Whittington, Project Gift Coordinator from Southwire. We're talking about Toys for Tots Drive coming up this Thursday and Friday from 7 to 7. Mm-hmm. I think it's December 7th and 8th, right? It is. So December 7th, 7 to 7, yep. 7, 7, December 8th, 7 mm-hmm. 7. Hey, can I brag on our sponsors? Do I have time? You got time. Okay. Um, I want to brag on them because a lot of these guys um, have supported us for a long time. And then we even have some new ones this year. Uh, West Georgia Technical College, always an incredible sponsor. Georgia Power. Um, Metro West supported us this year. R&R Enterprises, uh, Associated Credit Union, longtime sponsor. Uh, University of West Georgia's Foundation. Uh, the Sertoma Club. Of course, you guys here at Gradic, we thank you so much for your continued support of what we do here. Um, so we had a lot, a lot of help this year to make this happen. Well, you do every year, yep. and um, um, whether it's the back to school or Toys for Tots or Disaster Relief, mm-hmm. I mean, it's really amazing because when you, the goal this year is what five thousand toys. Five thousand. That's what we're hoping for. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back and figure out how we're gonna get five thousand toys after this word from Tanner <laughs> Health System. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama, because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. 
and its why, we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. All right, good morning. Welcome back to the Community Voice. I'm Steve Gradick, your host. We're talking about toys, so you can't, uh, you know, have much more fun than that, right? Uh, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. And this Thursday and Friday, we've got to come up with 5,000 toys. We can do it. Project Gifts, Toys for Tots uh, Drive. They're at Wally World on 27, right? That's it, Wally World. 7 to 7, uh, both Thursday and Friday. We'll be there, and we'll do what we do best, which is talk Mm -hmm. and we'll even have we'll have guards there overnight so if somebody does come between 7 p.m and 7 a.m on thursday you can still drop off i know a lot of people are getting just getting off work around seven o'clock so you'll still have time to give i will have somebody out there overnight to make sure that no matter what time you get off work you can still make a donation so those will be Santa's toy guards. There you go. They'll be dre- <laughs> dressed in red and Little white. Helpers, yeah. Yeah, and they will be. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, you mentioned uh, um, Southwire's also got this 12 for Life program, which is yes. phenomenal. Yes. But now they're also kind of roped into this uh, Toys for Tots thing, too, right? <gasps> well, you know, these kids, they love to be a part of Project Gift and giving back. So this is one thing um, they really enjoy getting to be a part of. They collect over at 12 for Life. They they'll collect the toys but on friday of this week we'll actually have a good group about 12 to 15 that will come over to our drive meet us there and we will split off into teams and actually go shop together and we let these guys help us pick out the toys so all these sponsors that have so generously given we can turn those dollars into toys and we have you know teenagers that are able to look at these things and say yeah i would never play with that but when i was a kid this is what i wanted yeah because like you know mm-hmm. times change and back yeah. in the uh a different century when i was a kid yeah. uh literally um <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you know um things were different mm-hmm. styles and tastes and toys i mean you said different. me out there i'm probably going to get like an extra sketch or a, a, light, a light bright remember light brights i remember light um, i don't even know if they make those anymore but you know, I don't even know what kids play with now. Outside of my stepdaughter lives for American Girl dolls, so I know that the dolls, the the eighteen inch dolls, are very popular. So there you go. So, I but mean, that's all I got. I mean, we, we <laughs> it's be, not one of those. I don't know what it is. We got to be wise stewards of these donations. <laughs> we got to shop wisely. Yes. Uh, well, that's good to know the 12 yeah. for Life kids are. Uh, I'm referring to everybody right now as a kid, but uh, <laughs> young, young adults is. Uh, mm-hmm is uh, participating in this Mm -hmm. okay um all right well we're gonna have to wrap it up so let's uh we still got some time but uh uh, tell us again if somebody just tuned in Mm -hmm. uh where we're gonna be when we're gonna be and what we need okay so this thursday and friday that's december 7th and 8th we are going to be set up over in the walmart parking lot here in Carrollton, uh collecting toys for toys for tots this year uh south Park's project gift you'll see the big tractor trailer you can't miss us uh, we'll be out there from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., uh, both Thursday and Friday, but then we will have somebody overnight on Thursday if you need to drop off in those kind of late hours. Um, you're welcome to do that, and somebody will be able to take your donation. Uh, we're looking for toys for children 12 and under. So, um, And I would definitely say if you're trying to meet a specific need, we get a lot of toys for that 5 to 9 range. So if you want to go a little bit younger or help us meet the need of those 10 to 12-year-olds, those are you know getting into those teen years and they're they're tough to buy for sometimes so uh, maybe maybe take one of your children if you've got kids um, or grandkids and let them help you shop Uh, that's what we do with 12 for life students and and we know that goes a long way so let them help you pick something really cool yeah that's a great idea we're talking about Mm -hmm. getting the kids involved Mm -hmm. you know that's part of it so let's go shop with the kids and uh, then drive it over to uh, 
the drop off there. You know, what's interesting to me is that you have all these volunteers, and these are Project Gift volunteers yep. that take the item, the toy, mm -hmm. and basically you can scoot there, you can scoot through this drop off point quicker than you can go through any fast food restaurant. I mean, I like to think so. And we've got, we've got a ton of volunteers signed up for each shift. So, you know, literally you're going to pull up, you're going to get unloaded. You just tell us where to go and get your stuff from, and you'll probably be out of there in a couple of minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to get a hard uh, number. How, <laughs> what's your record? I, mean, I don't know about that. I ten, don't know. Ten seconds? I don't know if we've ever done it in 10 seconds, but probably 30 seconds because these seconds. guys, they swarm. They're just they do. They really waiting do. for the next car. So yeah. Go check. <laughs> yeah. Let's swarm. Anyway, yeah. uh, but that's good. Yeah. And, and people need to, you know, you're busy and you're, you know, you got a million places you got to be. So, um it, being able to drive through quickly, not even have to get out of the vehicle, uh, nice. does make a difference. You it know, does. You know. And then if we get really busy, we tend to get two lines going. Yep, uh, and we can. Um, you know, again, Walmart is very gracious to let us just set up and kind of take over that back section of their lot. So we do have the opportunity to make two lines if we need to. Um, you know, we can get help if we need help with a forklift, anything like that. So um, whatever you got, we can unload it for you, and we'll get you out of there quickly. It's amazing. Uh, how much stuff you can get a tractor trailer in a trailer. I mean, isn't it? Though? Oh, yeah. You don't realize. So you start filling it, and you're like, man, we've gotten so many donations, and you get in the truck, and you can still hear your voice echoing. And you're like, wait yeah. a second. Yeah. I know we have a lot. So it's a big. It's 53 feet long. So Is it 53? It's 53 feet. So that's a lot of space. But you guys can help us fill up that real estate. I know it. Huh. <laughs> I could live in one of those probably. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm get one of those sad. refrigerated ones in the summertime, and it's <laughs> like heaven. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, yeah. that, that's a wonderful thought, actually. <laughs> uh, when I become a zillionaire, I'll, yeah. I'll remember that. That'd be good. Okay, before we go, tell us again the sponsors, because we don't want to. Oh, look, I don't want to yeah, miss anybody, so yeah. I'm on my cheat sheet. Okay, so West Georgia Technical College, Metro West, R&R &R Enterprises, Associated Credit Union, the University of West Georgia's Foundation, Sir Thomas Club, of course, Georgia Power, and then you guys here at Grodick. Thank you guys so much. That's a good lineup. That is a good lineup. <clears throat> you know, yeah, that's, that's these guys really have been cool. great. And a couple yeah. of new people, because R&R, Metro West, those are new ones for us this year. So. R&R is great. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, and Metro West is good. I mean, mm -hmm. y'all are, that's good. You know, I think the, the more, the older I get, the, the more I come to appreciate this area. Yeah. I mean, this county, this area, West Georgia areas, <clears throat> particularly as we kind of watch the world outside of us, mm -hmm. you know, tumble, tumble down oh, yeah. further. Uh, you tend to appreciate where we are even more. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so anyway, uh, uh, again, uh, I am uh, officially uh, the representative, uh, during this program at least, of Santa Claus. <laughs> and Santa Claus says you better show up. Yeah, we e need your help. Even if you just bring one toy. Yeah. Even if you just make a uh, cash donation or write a check. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do to help us give, we want to make sure that each and every child in the Carroll County area has something to open for Christmas morning. And so all you have to do is drive through the uh, Wally World parking lot on Highway 27. Um, this Thursday and Friday from 7 to 7 mm -hmm. and even if you miss it on Thursday night you can come at uh, 2 a.m. Friday morning that's right because we will have somebody sitting there overnight making sure that all is well so you can stop in drop your toys and go on home get cuddled up in the bed at 2 a.m. Right, exactly. That was that would be my thought. And there are a lot of people <laughs> whose lives are upside down like mine, yeah, and so well. you may see me at 3 a.m., <laughs> so you never know. It's like, what am I doing here? But um, anyway, we do uh, we do appreciate Christian Winnington and everyone uh, with the Project Gift, and you'll see all the whole team out there this Thursday and Absolutely. Friday night. And there's a big team of y'all. We have a lot. We have a lot. Some, uh, you know, and so we look forward to being there also with our radio stations. We'll do some Facebook Lives. We'll talk a lot. And hopefully uh, everybody will respond and we'll make it a bright Christmas for every kid in Carroll County. And uh, 20, 2017. Here we are. Here we are. Almost done. Christian Winnington, Project Gift, we salute you and thank you and allowing us to be part of the wonderful uh, Project Gift Toys for Tot effort this coming Thursday and Friday. Thank you for listening to WLBB Carroll.